finish a project, we do a lot of soul searching. A lot of reference got kicked around. The Seven Samurai, the Magnificent Seven. We talked uh, very early on about showing off a more human approach to Spartans. Well, we definitely focused on trying to go back to sort of the core of what made Halo CE, the combat of law, the sort of phenomenon that it is. I remember my first time playing Halo, and I was in that first level, and after winding through these technical quarters, fighting aliens, and then I step out into this world, and it, it just opens up in front of me, and it's, it's beautiful and, and alien and huge. That was a sort of seminal moment for me, and I think that's part of what we want to capture in Reach. Something that was core to the game at the beginning was that sense of wonder and exploration. We started with a series of events. We basically set out like, okay, from this date on reach to this date, we built a military campaign. We all had a desire to really flesh out the backstory of what happened prior to Master Chief and Cortana even entering the picture. We knew there were other Spartans, and it just seemed like such a rich area to tell a character-driven story with new characters. We wanted this team to feel like a Delta Force-type team that are usually a smaller number. Why are we not seeing explosives? This particular team, Noble Team, they've survived by staying together. You're noble sex, you're a replacement for a Spartan that's died. You're experiencing this, this story, boots in the mud. We looked at the story of Reach, and it was obviously a more intimate, character-driven story. We really needed the attention to real-world detail, trying to make these characters' faces really feel like Believable. We started everything over from scratch, came up with a whole new rig for how we uh, animate faces and also how we approach like texturing them, modeling them, everything, and just uh, put a lot more time. It becomes about a couple million polygons. We absolutely want Reach to tell a human story, and that's going to require us to invest significantly into higher fidelity models, much more open environments, larger numbers of AI than ever before in a Halo game to pull off the vision for what we had for this game. We ended up gutting almost every part of the engine, retooling things to make it run faster, to make it run better, look better. We had to throw out all of our technical systems. We had to then throw out the content that went with it because that content didn't represent the new bar we were going for. Call me back on our way. Don't need come on to tell me. You don't hurt half my life. Let's shoot it. We've got a great team, guys, and they can take motion capture and make it make the poses way more dynamic, way more expressive. Those changes bring out the light, they bring out the style of our characters. We had probably four times the amount of polygons to play with this time around, which gave us a lot more freedom and creativity in what we wanted to see. When you look at total engineers that are actually putting code that are actually affecting this game, I mean, it's got this massive 30 plus guys. It's it's crazy. When you shoot a uh, rock face, uh, you'll see sparks rock chips, dust. In Halo 3, we had a maximum of uh, 100 colliding particles. In Halo Reach, we have thousands. We've got much more customizable Spartans than we've ever had in the past. The number of polygons we can draw at, at one time has skyrocketed. It's changed the way we build things up close as well as out far. This is where Noble Team arrives when you have to work your way down, all the way down these, these terraces. Big open environments, epic skyboxes. These are things that are quintessential to Halo. Like we're building a planet that exists 500 years from now. We want to build spaces that you want to explore. We want to put twice as many characters, vehicles, and weapons into that environment. That's going to require massive improvements to the way we handle our artificial intelligence in the game. We now can put so many AI in an encounter that you can put four Spartans, yeah. the player, eight Marines against 30-ish Covenant, and that's an actual serious challenge. Bringing the Elite back was something that uh, was really a, a, a true joy for us because they're such an awesome character to fight. What if the Spartans and the soldiers don't actually understand what the aliens are saying? What's that going to feel like? What if we can get back to having the aliens feel really alien <laughs> and threatening?
tragedy, heroism. We're rebuilding everything from the ground up. You have to walk with a very fine balance. We want to add new things, but we don't want to rough up anybody's baby. I mean, that's, that's the whole thing about the, the crazy sausage that is Bungie's Halo Reach OBST universe, is that we've sort of developed this, this gameplay that every person has to just think about what they like, and I still think that we still struggle to figure out exactly what, you know, <laughs> What can we add or remove without pissing off certain white people population? We looked at the Halo 3 assault rifle and it really does feel kind of dated. It fit the tech then, but now we have all of these new polygons to play with. We went to a lot of trouble to sort of ground the weapons and the vehicles more in this sort of more real, more gritty world. We refined a lot of the weapons to push them into their particular role, and that role is defined a lot by range and the range of combat that you're going to play. For instance, the DMR, which is a sort of medium to long range suppression marksman rifle. It's going to be a sandbox game. It's not going to be a carefully scripted game where every movement of the AI is controlled by a mission designer. It's much broader than that. It allows the player to deal with encounters in their own specific way. There's definitely going to be offhand grenade throwing. There's definitely going to be vehicles. There's definitely going to be a large number of weapons that are incredibly powerful and incredibly accurate to allow the player to feel like a badass. Now, if you melee in the back of the head, like you're, you, know, you really need it, you're holding down on the button, then you will launch into this more elaborate animation sequence. It's going to be a very different campaign experience for people overall. We're doing stuff in the campaign that, that people absolutely won't expect from the Halo game. Bigger battles. Brand new cast of characters. An incredibly ambitious game. Every neuron in my head is firing with just reach, reach, reach. We knew from the beginning what the end was going to be. This is the definitive Halo made by the people who created Halo.